What up, world? It's Decent here in my stomping grounds of the South Bronx, and we're here at Bronx Native. It's a clothing line that turned into a full-blown brand where they focus on art, community, and everything Bronx underneath the sun. So we're going to stop in, talk to the co-owner, maybe do some shopping, and just follow so me. So I'm here with Amadeus Gujon, co-founder of Bronx Native. Thank you for having us in the house today, brother. Yes. So tell us a little bit more about Bronx Native and the history behind the line and just the store yeah. itself. You know, it started uh, with, a, with a simple conversation I'd had with my sister, a little bit about her background. I've been a creative and entrepreneur for a long time now. Um, and my sister is a fashion designer, right? So we, we come from a creative background. Um, and I remember us looking online, like, okay, you know, let, let's look for merchandise that kind of represents the Bronx, something that utilizes the history the culture and it's also visually appealing right I want to wear a shirt, a shirt that says El Bronx I want to wear a, a dope BX hat um, and we couldn't find anything my man we saw a problem and then we came up with a solution right we said we're gonna create a brand that utilizes the history the culture and it's also visually appealing um, and create Bronx based merchandise like some cool stuff um, but not only be a clothing brand also be a community based brand right a lifestyle brand a brand uh, that creates merchandise but also creates an impact and creates a change we, we try to combine the old boogie down with the new boogie down so it's, it's a nice balance between where we've come from and where we you know the history and stuff with the new right opening up this pop-up shop and become and, and making it uh, to be a permanent shop still trying to kill it you know what i mean and i'm doing this for, for the bx man okay pretty much you express you know the cultural aspect yeah. about being from the bronx yeah. how does that play into people being able to find out about not just the history of the bronx but just you know the people of the bronx and how does that tie into the whole aesthetic of bronx yeah. i think i tell everyone we're living in the best time to be alive right what a time to be alive uh, so because we have so many resources and we have so much we're so connected now with social media and with all of these websites and resources and stuff like that that we can utilize these things for things like pushing the culture and pushing Bronx history out there right uh, one thing that we do is through our merchandise through our social media we uh, shed light on the history right I was not in the era, you know, in doing the 70s when the Bronx was burning and stuff like that. But I, we pay homage to that by talking to, to the people that, you know, have been there, uh, getting informed, seeing what happened in that era and implement, making sure that that's implemented in everything that we do in, in, our, in our core branding. We're basically showcasing what we've been going through, you know what I mean? And what I've grown up and, you know, on a day-to-day -day life and just uh, shedding light in a, in a truth and in an authentic way. You know, I tell everyone we take the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the end of the day is beautiful, it is raw, and we're gonna showcase it just like that. You know, we're not here to polish anything. Like, oh, this is the piano district. This is a nice bronze. This is a cleaner. Nah, my nigga. We, there's garbage in the street. You know, there's crackheads in the street. There's a cat uh, sleeping on a bridge. There's a cat thing. sleeping. There's a cat right over here. Nah. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know if I should mention the, the, the crackheads and stuff like that. But it's, 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 the, re, it's, the, it's the truth. You know what I mean? It might not be the best. And we definitely got to move forward with that. And, and that's one thing that we try with Bronx Native. How do we tackle real issues that we're going through? Coming from the Bronx, of course, it's the birthplace of hip hop. Mm. You guys have pretty much stepped in and supplemented the venue to showcase hip hop with you know the open mic series that you yeah, guys yeah. have recently opened up. Tell tell us a little bit more about yeah. that. We wanted the shop to be a, a spa um, where creatives, artists, entrepreneurs can come through and just express themselves, right? Where people can gather, where people can network, right? More than just, uh, oh, I'm gonna go here to buy merch. No, I'm gonna go here to meet people. I'm gonna go here to perform. I'm gonna go here, um, yes, to get some merch, um, but also to just be part of this interactive experience, right? Mm -hmm. So it seems like the overall theme at the end of the day, as far as Bronx Native goes, yeah. it's about having a good time it's about taking pride in your community yeah. it's about showing people that they have the ability to meet people like them and that they have a home to kind of come and convene when it's all said and done of course of course my friend. yeah man uh 
Yeah, man. Ha- and have that you said have fun with it, and it's true, my man. Because when you have fun, it makes it that much more. Like damn, you know, I'm, I'm bored. Like I'm, I'm having a, like no, you know, we're having fun. I'm having fun. We genuinely want to do something for the community and and bring something to the table that has not been brought or we don't have at the moment. Uh, and we did it, and it so happened to be a successful business, right? Um, and I think everyone who's out there who's trying to do something make sure that something is sustainable because if it's not sustainable you will not be able to continue doing what you want to do and that is very important any closing words any predictions for the people out there uh predictions of future man big big things happening out here dude uh like i said we're gonna continue to utilize the space as a cultural hub and just pushing the brand out there uh you know we're looking to expand all the time um Big, big thanks, man. Soon come, soon, soon come, my man. Uh, we're working, and thank you so much again, man, for having me and for coming to the shop and doing your thing. You guys are doing great as well, man. South Bronx, out here, repping it heavy, my man. Yeah, soon, soon. I have a tattoo on my forehead. It says Bronx. Regular, <laughs> regular, regular, <laughs> regular from the Bronx. But, yeah. but Maldis, yeah. thank you so much yeah. for taking time out of your busy schedule to rock with us here yeah. at Pop Dust. And- and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. If you're ever uptown, make sure you stop by Bronx Native. Tell them Disa sends you. Make sure you get some culture. Make sure you get some fine threads. And always make sure to keep it dusty. See you later.